What's going on, peeps? Senior G's Believe here, and welcome to another episode of Undoctrinate. I've been telling y'all time and again, stop watching that stupid hella weird crap that's on the movies and the television and all this down the third, the entertainment industry. Man, they're sick. They're possessed with demons. I mean, it's like a Christian, a so-called Christian. I hate that word at this point. Talking about, oh, I'm going to go to Sin City. I'm going to go to Sin City. I'm going to go gamble this, that, and a third and hang out in all the debauchery. Or I'm going to watch this stupid, sick, hella weird movies, you know, and fill my brains with this stuff, man. Look, look, I'm trying to tell y'all. Stop. Stop with the, ooh, man. I am, like, for real. The lukewarmness is so out of control. Like, does anybody even research anything anymore? Here, just so you can see some truth. How are so many of Hollywood's most famous actors and actresses able to be so amazingly effective and convincing in their performances? That guy was so electrifying that it came through the television. How is it that they can move us to laughter, tears, or anger at the drop of a hat? Are they truly gifted with natural talent, as many suggest? You see this and you're just, you're dazzled by their talent. Do they possess a creative streak of genius that is unknown to most men? Or unknown to most men, are they in fact possessed? Is it possible that these actors and actresses are possessed by demonic spirits who have a specific agenda to fulfill? Oscar award-winning actor Denzel Washington told 60 Minutes exactly how he brings forth his best performances. Basically what I did was got on my knees and sort of communicated with the spirits. And when I came out, I was in charge. Powerful scene. Powerful scene. It, it was, I couldn't have acted that. I couldn't have written that down and made a decision to play that. What, are you going to smoke that? Nope, you are. Hell if I am. Yeah, Jesus free. Yeah, Jesus free. The one woman entertainment empire known as Oprah has strong affiliations with the demonic realm. The most familiar face on television says, You can not only use your body and physical self. This is how I see acting. I ask my body to be the carrier for the spirits of those who have come before me in a way that is most meaningful to the character. Just become the vehicle for that character. Calling out for these entities to take her over so that she may become a sparkling puppet, Oprah admits of her work before the camera. I tried to empty myself and let the spirit inhabit me. With her global influence, her shows have become a smorgasbord for the New Age agenda. There you go, people. It's blatant, straight in your face, all right? If you claim in Yeshua HaMashiach and you want to keep quoting these men and the wisdom of men, then you're a fool, all right? You're biblically illiterate. These people serve Satan. The whole entire Hollywood serves Satan, all right? And if you don't get it, then you truly are not a follower of Yeshua, and I rebuke you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, my Lord and Savior. 